ever catch yourself like multiple times a day just thinking, wait, what time is it? Oh, absolutely. It's like it's the catchphrase I never meant to have. Right. But it speaks to this like this bigger feeling, right? That we're always racing against the clock. It's a common struggle. It is. And we're constantly bombarded with information. Yes. Opportunities. Yeah. Which is exciting. It is. But it can definitely be overwhelming. Totally. And that's actually a perfect segue into what we're diving into today. Okay. We're looking at um, the Simple Truth Minute Manual. Okay. And right off the bat, I love that it's like hinting at like we don't need these big complicated systems. Right. It's about finding those like those little nuggets, those practical tips to really master our relationship with time so we can, you know have more success, more love, all that good stuff. Yeah, and it starts with a really interesting premise. All right. It basically says that we're already experts okay. on ourselves. See, no, when I first read that, I was like, okay, I'm not sure I follow, like, expert on myself. Right. What does that even look like? Yeah, it sounds kind of obvious when you first hear it. Right. But the author, he breaks it down this way. Think about what an expert really is. It's someone who has like this really deep knowledge in a specific area, right? Uh, okay. So who better to be an expert on your life, your experiences, your unique challenges? Than you. Than you. Right. Yeah. It's true. It's like we forget that sometimes. Like well, We're so busy looking for outside well, validation or direction. It's like, oh, should I take this personality quiz? Should I ask? You know, right. all these different sources when really. Yeah, and the book isn't saying those are bad things. It's yeah. not like personality tests are inherently bad. Right. But it's about recognizing that you are the ultimate authority. Yes. On you. I love that. Your experiences, your yeah. potential mm -hmm. that comes from within. Yes. It's like we're looking for the instruction manual outside. Yeah. Instead of realizing. Instead of realizing we are the instruction manual. Yes. Yeah. Like we have that inner wisdom. Yes. And it makes me think about the phrase that the author uses, which is like taking authority. Yes. Over our personal growth. Yes. What does that even look like? Because it feels, I don't know, it feels kind of radical almost. It does. To be like, wait a minute. It's a shift. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shift for sure. Yeah. Um, I think one of the first things is, he talks about the importance of creating space okay. for yourself to actually connect with that inner expert. Okay. So that might look like, you know, five minutes in the morning to journal. Okay. Or 10 minutes to meditate or yeah. a walk in nature without your phone, you know. Right, like disconnecting from all the noise. Exactly. And like going inward. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. And in those moments, you can start to ask yourself some really powerful questions. Like, what is it that actually matters to me? What brings me joy? Oh, I like that. Yeah, like, when do I feel... And it brings me joy. When do I feel most energized? Yes. Most alive? What really lights me up? Yeah, and it's interesting because I feel like for so long I was, like, trying to figure out right. the answers to those questions. From other people? Based on, yes, exactly. Uh, like, well, what does society... Just to be happy. Yes, should I be happy? Should this light me up? Exactly. When it's like, no, that has to come from within. Yes. And it's also important to remember, too, that it's your inner landscape. Right. So it's going to be different yeah. from everyone else's. Totally. You know, your version of personal greatness, as this book calls it, yes. it's going to look different from mine, from the person next to you. From, like, what we see on social media. Exactly. Yeah. It's not about achieving some destination right. that everyone's striving for. It's personal. It's, yeah. it's in the name, personal greatness. Exactly. Yeah. And that's where, you know, I think the book also talks about the importance of avoiding comparison. Oh, yeah. The comparison trap. The comparison it, trap. Yeah. It's so real. Because we're constantly bombarded with images. Yes. And stories. And like, it's hard not to. Of other people's. Yeah. Yeah. To look at that and be like, oh, well, they're doing that. I'm not good enough. Yeah. I'm not there yet. Yeah. So how do we quiet that voice? That's a great question. Because it's so loud. It is. It is. That inner critic that's like, come on, you should be further along by now. Yeah. And that's where I think this idea of connecting with that inner expert is so important. Okay. Because it's about recognizing that that voice, that inner critic, yeah, is often coming from a place of fear. 
Oh, oh that's interesting. Or insecurity. It's like a defense mechanism. Okay. Uh, right? It's yeah. trying to protect you, but it's actually holding you back. So it's about like reframing it almost yeah. of like, okay, I hear you fear. I hear you insecurity, but I'm going to choose to listen to. To that wiser voice. This other voice. Yeah. That more compassionate voice that's within you. It's like we're reclaiming that power, right? Instead of giving it away to like all these external sources, yes. we're like, no, we got this. Like, we can figure this out. Exactly. And, you know, it's interesting because the book even emphasizes, like, you don't have to do it all at once. Okay. It's not about, like, this huge overnight transformation. Yeah. It's really about those small shifts. Yeah. Like, even just making one small change yeah. in how you manage your time or your energy, yeah. that can have a ripple effect. It's like that whole idea of, like, progress over perfection it's, like we don't have to have it all figured out yes it's those little steps those little like you know those little wins along the way exactly it's about consistency and it's about you know yeah. taking those small steps toward the vision that you have for yourself and speaking of you know support and community i do i, I love that the author also talks about that yes because i feel like sometimes we can get so caught up in like oh personal growth that's all on me right but actually like Having that community, having those people to like, yes, you know, to share the journey with can make such a difference. Absolutely. Like, even though it's called personal greatness. Right. It doesn't mean you have to do it alone. Totally. And I and I think that's actually like a really, really important takeaway from all of this. Yes. It's like you don't have to wait for like this perfect moment. Yes. Or for like all the answers to magically appear. Right. To start tapping into that inner wisdom. Well, exactly. You already have everything you need. We do. It's like we said, we're already experts on ourselves. On yourselves. It's just about remembering that. Yeah. And trusting it. And, you know, if you're feeling stuck, ask yourself that question. What do my inner expert have to say? Yes. Like, what would my inner expert tell me right now? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. This has been so insightful. I, I'm like, I'm walking away with so much to think about. Me too. And and I love that idea of like that question of like, what does my inner expert have to say? Yes. That's something we can all ask ourselves. Every single day. Every single day. Well, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for for guiding us through this deep dive. Thank you for having me. And to everyone listening, remember, the answers are within you. Trust that inner expert. Got this. You got this. Until next time. Thank you.